Sheikh, my question is about my sister, um, as she is totally obsessed with this part, as I am going to tell you. Like, generally, she read about um, pre-seminal discharge. So from that time, she says that I feel scared that maybe during her, she emits pre-seminal discharge or any kind of discharge without any cause and desire. And when she starts praying, she feels like that. And when she checks out, she finds nothing, but sometimes she find that there is discharge but you know discharge is the part of woman cycle because of this she is very disturbed and she says to me I can't do it anymore and she's about to skip her so what should you advise such person to uh, this person should be advised to fear Allah Azza wa Jal shaitan the devil Satan is setting her up so that he can accompany her to hellfire and she is obeying him, and she is an obedient student of his. He's very happy, he's clapping all the way as she's about to leave and skip prayer, which qualifies her to be a resident in hellfire for eternity. As you've clearly stated, it's part of the women's nature to have vaginal discharges. And these are, according to the most authentic opinion, pure and do not invalidate the wudu. And the default is everything is pure, everything is normal until proven otherwise. So you cannot jump the gun and assume that, oh, this is a uh, uh, prosthetic fluid or uh, uh, whatever it's called, methi or the likes, when you don't have any provocation of desire or you did not see anything that sexually aroused you. And you've checked so many times and you found that it was nothing and you still insist on doing this, you are qualifying to be an advocate and one of the devout students of shaitan. It's your own doing. Shaitan has nothing to do with it. He just calls you and you respond and answer it. As mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse 22. Satan says in hellfire, I had no control over you except to call you and you responded and answered me. So don't blame me, rather blame yourselves. I'm not going to benefit you and not, you're not going to benefit me. So she has to fear Allah Azza wa Jal and Allah knows best.